Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and for this video I'm going to be talking about Cruel Jaws and wow what a film so there are many Jaws ripoffs out there but I think out of all of them Cruel Jaws has to be the most laughable and the most inept out of all of them although saying that this movie is way more entertaining than it should be I had a lot of fun watching this film so I just thought I'd come on here for a few minutes and and say a few things about it. So this is a 1995 film it was directed by Italian exploitation maestro Bruno Mattai here under the name William Schneider and he was quite synonymous for taking successful American movies and basically copying them in his own kind of unique inept style and often the movies that he made even copied the dialogue of the original films and there's no difference here we get lines that are exactly the same as Jaws however when they were said in Jaws they sounded impressive and and scary whereas when they said in this film they just sound laughable <laughs> I'm not going to talk about the plot to this film because if you've seen Jaws or any Jaws ripoff, you know the plot of this. Shark terrorises a, a beach, police want to shut the beach, politicians don't want to shut the beach for financial reasons. It's the same old story in this one. And what is quite, I guess, unique for Cruel Jaws is that they don't seem to have their own shark, from what I can see. And this movie is now a bit more famous for it. It actually steals shark scenes from Jaws 1, Jaws 2, Jaws 3 and uh, Enzo G. Castorelli's The Last Shark which in itself was a Jaws ripoff so what you have here is a ripoff of a ripoff of Jaws <laughs> it's just fantastic so what you'll have in this film is you'll have the you'll have the scenes from Cruel Jaws of the people talking and whenever there's a shark scene whenever there's a shark attack they will have a cut to shark stock footage or a shot from the shark in Jaws 1 or Jaws 2 or the shark from the last shark so it's just all these scenes stolen basically and spliced into Cruel Jaws so it's absolutely crazy how Bruno Mattai managed to make this movie without being buried by Universal is is beyond me I do not know the answer to that whether they just didn't care by this stage or, or whether they never saw it, I don't know. But it's just, uh, it's incredible to see this uh, trashy Italian film and then see Bruce from Jaws suddenly appear while these badly, um, badly acted scenes are going on. Another funny thing about this movie is they keep talking about a tiger shark. It's a tiger shark that's terrorising the beach in this movie, yet we never see a tiger shark in the film. The stock footage is always films of great whites, uh, always always shots of great whites, and then it's, like I say, it's the other sharks from the other movies um, that appear. So there's no tiger shark in it, despite it being a tiger shark that they're, they're all trying to hunt down. And it's really strange seeing, like, uh, a succession of scenes which is suddenly like Jaws 2, Jaws 3, Jaws... Last Shark, Jaws, Jaws 3. It's so weird. It's, it, it makes no sense in, visually. But um, what I will say, I, I will give them credit for this, and I, I almost feel dirty for saying this, but they do actually splice the scenes into the film rather well, surprisingly well, actually. Of course, the shark looks different in every single scene, so you can't give them any credit for that. But the way the actors move, the way they set the scene up so that the scene that they've stolen flows flows well enough is actually pretty impressive you you wouldn't really you, you wouldn't really know straight away that they'd they brought this scene in from somewhere else unless of course you've seen the previous film the way the scenes move is is quite flawless so credit for that if, if you can say that and what i what i do really like about cruel jaws is it's almost like a greatest hits of crappy shark films so you get the quintessential plot that drives all these movies you get the hilarious bad italian acting the the stupid characters and then you get an array of different shark footage from 
from the Jaws movies, from the last shark. So you, you get like a mix of all different shark scenes thrown into this unintentionally hilarious um, Italian Italian horror film. So for that reason, it's actually a really entertaining film. And it's great just to see these snippets of random shark scenes that you've you've come to see over the years. So for me, for that reason, it's actually a highly entertaining concoction of just terrible shark action mixed with laughable dialogue. So it surprised me. I didn't think I'd like it because I knew it took other shark scenes from other movies. So I thought I've already seen the good bits in this film and I didn't think the acting would be up to much. So I thought it would be a struggle to get through. But no, I, I was very entertained and I had a lot of fun with this movie. So if you do like crappy shark movies, for me... Cruel Jaws is the epitome of that shark exploitation genre. So let me know if you've if you've seen this one. Uh, did you have as much fun watching Cruel Jaws as I did, or was this one just a a total stinker for you? Let me know. So thank you very much for watching that, guys, and stay tuned for more videos.